Hey guys, it's Jessica here. So recently, I visited uh, these two different cafes in Korea, which I really, really love. First one is called the Tucson Place. The second one is called Gongcha. Wow. Gongcha is a chain that also has lots of different branches in the Philippines, so you are probably aware of Gongcha as well. And guess what? If you guys follow me on Instagram, you might have seen it. They got a new menu for the new season, summer, which was corn dessert. And I know for many Filipinos, um, as well as for me, when someone say corn dessert, like the first thing that comes off your mind is mais con hielo. Mais con hielo is definitely one of my favorite, favorite desserts in the Philippines. And I was so surprised to figure out that such a version of mais con hielo was released in Korea as well. So of course, I was like, oh my God, I need to try this. I have to see if this will taste like mais con hielo. So, I went to purchase them and we're going to try it out today. Did you know that Gongcha is actually Korean? This is what I saw and posted on Instagram story. Sweet and crunchy. Chodang looks is a milk tea. Chodang looks is a smoothie. Chodang looks is a cheese jewelry. Smoothie, wow. Which one should I get? Of course, I do want to get all three of them, but I don't think I can finish it. Yeah, because I'm alone. I'm all alone at home. There's no Sylvia who could finish it with me. Since both of them are smoothie, I'll get one milky and one smoothie. I'm not sure if it's because Gongcha is so famous and mainstream here in Korea or because Gongcha itself is Korean but there are always a variety of new menu coming out like this mint choco thing also came out recently and this mais con yellow thing <laughs> came out uh, last month. More than a gongcha, only in gongcha thing, I think it's also a very Korean thing how always in those cafes there are new different set of menu coming out every season or even every month. I think that also shows how, how cafe culture is so big in Korea. And plus, I think it's also a very Korean thing how there are always a new trend coming out. Again, the holder because this is a new season menu. It fits into the theme. Oh my god. My next destination is Tucson Place, which is another famous quite high-end cafe here in Korea. There you go. Right there. They say it's been two months since the corn pingsu. Pingsu means like ice flake snow cone in, in Korean came out. I am still very amused by the fact that there is this sudden like corn dessert craze in Korea for some reason. But let's see how they taste like. I'm excited about the ping soup because this is what really reminded me of my skin yellow. Whoa! So that's how it looks like? Oh my god, what is this? This is a cake and there are some corn and uh, this is probably like some syrup that I have to drizzle on top. This is how the smoothie looks like. Chodang oksusu popping smoothie. Popping smoothie, okay. This is the classic chodang oksusu milk tea pearl. Okay, let me try these two first because this one I am more excited about this. <laughs> Whoa. So there is this corn ice cream in Korea. It's a quite old like classic ice cream. It tastes exactly like that. But it's a little more mild because of the milk and because of the bubble, the pearls. It's um, quite nice, not bad. It does have the mais con yellow feels though. If you grind mais con yellow in a milk form, I think it would taste like this. It's not bad. It's like mais con yellow in a bubble tea form. This one was 4,901. That is like the typical gongcha price in Korea. Now let's go ahead with the smoothie. 5,501. And they say there's some popping something in it. Mmm. 
Wow! <laughs> this is better. This is better than this because it's got some texture in it. There are some corn scent to it, but it's not strong at all. This was great. Okay, now the pingsu. Oh. Whoa! <gasps> Guys, the texture of this really reminds me of my spaniello. Oh my god. Let me give it a try. Cheers. Oh. Why am I blowing it? <laughs> This is my skin yellow. It's just that there are some caramel popcorn on top. I think they put it for the texture, which I also did when I made my skin yellow with Sylvia and Moy. Sylvia and Moy, they are also my YouTuber friends, my YouTuber best friends. And we tried to make my skin yellow because I love my skin yellow. Sylvia hasn't tried my skin yellow, so we tried to make it at home and we failed. Oh no. So here I am. I'm basically just following the recipe. Wait, Moy, what? Binakto. They're warm? Oh wait! Oh my gulai! This is not my skoniello! Why am I making it? Oh my god! Sylvia, this is my street food. Taste our skin. Mm. And I was so sad because I wanted Sylvia to try the authentic maizconiello, but we failed. But I think I gotta let her try this. If you have it without the popcorn, it's just maizconiello. Maizconiello came to Korea! <laughs> so when I made maizconiello, I added some corn flakes because I know there are different versions of maizconiello. Where I first had maizconiello, the kuya, he sprinkled some corn flakes. <laughs> and I was like, Wow, this is great! And whenever I would make my yellow myself at home, I would add cornflakes and the popcorn kind of does the same job, I think. Let me try the ice cream. Oh no! First time I tried my yellow, honestly, I don't remember very clearly when exactly was the first time. It was in the very beginning when I first went to the Philippines, when I was like nine years old. I was a very adventurous kid. Instead of staying indoors, I would love to go out in the streets and try all those different Filipino street food. And one of them turns out to be my yellow. Oh, it was so good because it's so hot, right? And then the vibes, like that street food, street vibes with the palm trees alongside the guyas and then having like this small cup of my yellow was like one of the times when I was the happiest during the day. To be honest, and this is probably the same for many many other Koreans, corn in a dessert. It's very unusual. That's why my yellow at first was very unusual for me but once I tried it, I was like, why didn't anyone come up with this but the Philippines? <laughs> I was just mesmerized by the taste, that corn savory flavor with the sweet flavor, and it's cold, so it's perfect for summer. Complete set. So I'm very glad that such a menu uh, landed in Korea. <laughs> and I'm happy that it also reminded me of my um, second home, the Philippines. I think this might be like my very first vlog in my new home, alone. <sighs> Again, stay tuned for more Living Alone Diaries and more diverse content in the future. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!